I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Stephen. This is Stephen's new space. And this is what Stephen's new home looks like, thanks to lots of help from Design Inc. Design Inc. is headed out of town. Stephen has just purchased a waterfront condo three time zones away and has asked me to help him make the most of it. It's been a while. All right, so let's see it. We've got a great view. Stephen is an entrepreneur with a flair for design. He takes possession of this place in a few days. On this exploratory trip, I discovered that this is going to be a gut job. Everything's coming out. Okay. Um, floors, cupboards, bath fixtures. Everything. Yeah. In order for this to work, it's going to require close, concise, cross-country collaboration. Are you thinking just rip up all the floor finishes? All of it. Everything. Yeah. Get rid of the mirrored doors. I think I'd prefer to have hardwood throughout the whole place except for the master bathroom. Okay, what about the kitchen here? Okay, this is um, like so old and dated. Okay. I thought if we kept the wall exposed concrete, mm -hmm. that could be really cool. A bit more industrial looking. Exactly. It feels like it's good quality space in here, like it's nice and like the spaces don't feel too pokey, it just feels like they need a whole new level of finishes. It, it totally right? needs to be updated. Stephen's goal is to make the most of the view, which wraps around all rooms of this condo, especially the living room. It seems like in a space that's as compact as this, because what is this, about 15 by 18, something like It's not that big a it room not big. that you should just try and sort of maximize the view, the light, and as simple as possible. I like things fairly sparse, too. Okay. As for a spare room, Stephen's thinking of an office with a place for guests. I'm thinking something completely different. What if we just blow out the walls entirely and create one big living dining space? Well, that would be very cool. And okay, very so cool. how are we going to deal with this? Stephen and I being creative types doesn't mean we're always on the same page. Email, phone, and courier will have to do for the most part. Just the kind of control no one likes to give up on such a massive gut job. So I figured out the assignment of all the rooms, which is quite exciting. Jessica, you're gonna do a cottage monkey for Karen. The best person to handle this project is Natalie. Nat is gonna do Steven's condo. In addition to her stylistic talents, Natalie keeps us all organized and can juggle many tasks at once. So we're gonna do a cross, cross country awesome. design project. Um, Tom. This project is a little different from most in that Steven has a keen sense of design. Another plus is that he owns a furniture store filled with pieces that are suited to his taste. This is for lounging. A great jumping off point. <laughs> can you do this as a sectional? Yeah, you can. That'd be nice. The creamy stuff is actually quite nice. This color's not bad, but it's a bit... Khaki? Yeah. We can do white. Nice. That would be nice. And what are the chairs? Please. They're the original white. Okay. So it's a glossy white. Right. Okay. It's pretty here. I mean, why do you have to have one plane of mirror, right? No, I think that's a good idea. While the dust flies at Stephen's place, he's camped out in a 400 square foot bachelor pad. So we're wasting no time getting this project done. Is this the sort of color you were thinking of? It's exactly it. I think this is an engineered floor, so this is just a thin strip of wood on top of a plywood basis. See this? Okay, yeah. So you have plywood and then you actually get real wood. So it's not like a laminate floor, which is just a photograph. So it is real wood. I think it's probably still better to do this finished on site, although this is a nice dark color. So can you do a finished on site? The good floor, news is we can get an engineered floor which can be sanded and stained on site, giving us the color we want. The whirlwind tour continues. Next stop, Stephen's sources for tile and fixtures for the kitchen and bath. Are you tiling the walls in the bathroom? No, I'd just rather the shower. Not. Okay. I'd rather just do the shower on the floor. You want to do a like a big rain shower or just a high pressure head? Well, what I thought is if we could just do a couple of different um, heads on all three. Water sides. coming from everywhere. Totally. Okay. Totally. That was very nice. 
I think that's the nicest looking system. Yeah, so would you I just agree. run one of those right down the living room? Or yeah, or maybe or maybe take it so that it's along the one wall or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Steven's quest for the best brings him to Design Inc. headquarters. Oh, thank you! <laughs> I collect these. But getting anything that he buys home is another question entirely. I've been trying to get in touch with you to ship these products. Design Inc. goes cross country to do a condo gut job. Everything's coming out. Okay. Um, floors, cupboards, bathrooms. Everything. Yeah. My first visit was two short days and we checked out all of Steven's sources. Now he's come to Design Inc. headquarters to visit some of my favorite haunts. But not before he brings us up to speed on the renovations back home. Oh my gosh. Have you seen these, Natalie? Ridiculously, they put a pipe right through here. Of course. Holding everybody's cable. Okay. But my contractor is great. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to cut everybody's cable off, and they won't realize it. And the time they realize the cable, they call the cable company, I'll have it reconnected. And gonna... uh, <laughs> until they watch this show. <laughs> okay. So, you know, this is where the glass block was. So right. it's gone. Awesome. Get this. Okay, Steven's chosen room. an ostrich look wall covering for one of the bathrooms and snakeskin for a wall in the bedroom. The ceilings throughout the entire space will yeah, be stripped to bare concrete. Quite the imagination. Great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I collect these. It's great to have Steven in my time zone. It gives us a chance to get on the same wavelength. This seems a bit chunky yeah. to me. I don't know you feel like we're moisturizing. <laughs> and another thing. This is 6 by 42, which is huge. Right. Can you imagine how long this is going to take to fill? Yeah. <laughs> this is actually really nice in a chrome. And look, have you seen this? Actually, I really like that a lot. It's really, really simple. Yeah, See this, this is exactly what I was The square, square sink. This is awesome. So that's when you entertain and you've got all those pots. They'll fit in there. <laughs> that's right. Okay. A little bit of a purpley undertone. Let's, yeah. let's see yeah, what they look like plant. here with these. Absolutely. What about that one? Is it too green for you? It's not bad, actually. It is a little khaki. But... That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's expensive. That's not. <laughs> what I'm learning about Steven is Steven has expensive taste. <laughs> You can easily walk into a store and he'll go right through the sink. The most, he just found the most expensive kitchen sink in the store. Okay. Yeah, I like and that. Chrome. So we get two of them. We can get that in the crown. Two of them in the master, like doing one long yeah. slab of it. So you put those in. I thought that with the... You put these in the wall just like this as yeah, they so are? Yeah, just some little pucks, right? Oh! So I thought this would be great. And, uh, and they would look tall, in like... little bullets in the in the powder room? In the powder room. And they would great like the ostrich, the fall ostrich. Yeah. It's always more fun to shop when you're away from home. But let's face it, a range hood makes an unwieldy carry-on. It's really weird doing this cross-country design thing with Steven because I'm ordering everything and getting it all selected and sending it out. And here, we're always there to receive you know, to meet the tile, to pick it up, to make sure everything's right. It's sort of blind faith. It's like I'm calling everyone and ordering these things and they're being shipped across the entire country. Steven, how's the job? Is everything there? Really? Oh my God. Has any of the lighting come? I, I'm really getting stuff with these people. I ordered these light fixtures so long ago, and I've been calling trying to get them shipped out, and apparently they're all in stock, and I've called for about a week and a half now, and no one will return my call. I, all I want is them shipped. I would really, really appreciate a call back. I've been trying to get in touch with you to ship these products. Getting things from point A to point B is only one of our worries. And this uh, bright green 90GG. Bermuda, three walls in the living room. You're kidding. I think it's time for a cross-country check-in and perhaps a color consultation. I up at 4.40 and it's now midnight. It's been a long day. It's good. I'm just going to not 
looking forward to tomorrow. Design Inc. is working on a condo 3,000 miles away. It seems like in a space that's as compact as this, that you should just try and sort of maximize the view. Did we mention that this sort of thing rarely goes off without a hitch? The most annoying thing is that you walk into a store and you order $4,000 worth of product and, and say, it it. can you ship this? And then I call and email and call, call the owner of the store, email, call, call. Finally, I left this message saying, where the beep is my product? Yeah. And then I get a message the next day saying, oh yeah, well, can I get that address and I'll ship it? It's like, well, could that not have happened three weeks ago when I've been bugging you every single day? It's been a few weeks since Stephen was in town. We've made a lot of progress on the design scheme for his condo, and I'm totally comfortable that we're on the same page. Natalie, do you want to talk about um, Stephen's paint colors? They're quite vibrant, so I'm having a bit of a problem matching them up. The so, ones with the dots are the ones he likes. I'm just going to grab them. So th Stephen sent these? Yes. Stephen sent these. Leave Where's Stephen thinking of these colors for? I will tell me where this fancy fire truck red is going. Uh, in the bedroom. <laughs> I just, I'm just reading it. Okay. In and writing, it's called correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And yes. and this uh, bright green 90 GG Bermuda. You can't yeah. Sorry. Three walls in the living room. You're kidding. It's a five-hour flight to check in on the progress, see what our team needs to do to finish this thing, and find out what Steven's thinking with those colors. Well, let's talk about those paint colors. Oh, yeah. What, you, so what makes you think about those? Uh, well, I like color. Okay. Yeah, I like um, fun, splashy. Bright, right? Bright colors. Like, I like so to... So when you said blue in here, which wall? Did you have a thought about what okay. wall? Well, we were talking about doing one of the darker blues on this wall. Then we'll bring the lighter blue in here. Right. And on that wall. Just on this wall. Yeah, right in the bedroom. And then I was also thinking, like, the orange just in this alcove right here. Um, I thought we should do testers of some of them. So here's just another... Yeah. ...along the same sort of lines. Yeah. So these are just ever so slightly... Different. Yep. There, there's my little color chips. So I, I brought you a little rainbow. Thank you very you much. Keep that. It goes with your shoes. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I guess we can just put your shoes on. It totally does. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. We're laughing. Well, it's bolder than I would have gone, but hey, I'm not always right, and this isn't just about my vision. The good news is this place is so. turning the corner. <laughs> the ceilings look amazing. It's great. Huh? So when they stripped everything off, do they have to do anything to prep them? No, they just came in with the sandblaster. So is that like a quick and easy process? Very, well, yes, more or less. Quick and easy process to close the windows. What happened to the windows? <laughs> the windows got sandblasted, you see. There's just a faint tint of blasting over all just the windows. Just a faint, a faint etching on yes. all your windows? so we need to fix that. That's great. So how do you fix that? All new windows? Exactly. Super. Not yes, what you bargained not, for. Not my expense. The yeah, it works really well. The, Smaller. It is smaller. Feeling now. But you know, what, what is a bedroom for? Sleeping. Yes. And sex. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> You gotta say it. Come on, it's a family show. <laughs> There's action happening in the bathroom. Yeah, it's looking good. Beautiful. I love the dark shower. Most people always think that they want it white, but I think it's... Yeah, I think it's great. I think you really notice the variations in all the stone, and it looks really sparkly. Yeah, I think, I think it's fabulous. Yeah, the grout goes on, it's gonna be beautiful. Kitchen, we need to, the doors need to be hung on yep. it and the counters have to be delivered. And then painting of all the accent walls, installing all the lighting, moving in the furniture. Totally. Doesn't that sound easy? Yeah. <laughs> Compared to what we've done so far. It's pretty amazing because yeah. I mean, we really ripped out every single wall in this house. You know the amazing thing now is though, is to see it and I'd say the spaces in this what used to be a condo space, mm -hmm. function more like what people would want out of a loft than any loft space that you could go and buy. It's actually worked well. I mean, you guys coming out here today um, for this whirlwind trip is fun, and I'm sure more exhausting for you than me. <laughs> well, working with Steven is just a dream. He's the best client. I mean, having somebody who's savvy when it comes to design, what more can you possibly ask? It's proven yeah. to be a terrific collaborative yeah. venture. and it's now 
midnight. It's been a long day. But it's good. I just am not looking forward to tomorrow. We pack up for a last visit to Stevens. Crunch time to get it done. You know, this is so not the right piece. I'm gonna go make a phone call. <laughs> It takes all of our efforts for a successful final push. I think between the three of us, we've done an awesome job. How many cross-country plane trips does it take to redesign an entire condo? Really? It requires patience. Oh my god. A firm grip on logistics. Has any of the lighting come? And being open to new ideas. Let's talk about those paint colors. Oh, yeah. What did your mom make you think about those? Okay, so I've been back and forth to Steven's condo a few times. Aside from a few glitches and some color questions, we have all, especially Steven, been handling the renovations very well. Now, part of the Design Inc. team has hit the ground running to do the final load-in and make Steven's waterfront condo dream come true. Oh my gosh, the floors look fabulous. I'm so pleased because all I've seen is pictures the whole time. So it's really fun to actually be in the space. Finally, all the fixtures, sinks, etc., have made their cross country trek successfully. Whether it's the right stuff is another question entirely. So we're missing all the crosses for all these pieces. And the trim plate is not compatible with the roughkin. Oh, so what you've been shipped doesn't all go together. Okay, hold on, there he is. Oh, I was so happy you could your shoes. The, what we're waiting for is a transformer for the LED lights for the bathroom. And like I said to Natalie, I'm not putting that on my tub. Yeah, this is so not the right piece. I'm gonna go make a phone call. <laughs> We've got a really weird assortment of plumbing that's ended up here, as far as handles go. You know, when you go in to buy something, all these guys, tell you that, oh yeah, there's not a problem, we can get it to you in 10 days, and four weeks later, you're barking at their door and they're ignoring you, they've got your money, and the stuff will be coming. Yeah, it's coming, yeah, it's coming, but it never gets here until the end. I've got a package for FedEx. This is either gonna be really exciting or a total letdown. Guess what? It's exciting, and we can move forward. This is my Buddha that I had to ship from Thailand. Okay. Can you see someone down there? I specifically chose There's pink colors. colors for my art, yeah. as well as the colors remind me a lot of Warhol, which I really love. Wardrobe, you can tell a lot about what would suit them for their home. So Stephen's not afraid of bold fashion, which means he's also not afraid of some really bold colors in his home. The snake skin looks amazing. Now, was it difficult at all to put up all the vinyl? Um, no, it costs a lot of money, but it took him 45 minutes. I wish I was making that for our. I think between the three of us, we've done an awesome job.
what we took was a really standard condo and we stripped it back and it ended up being a showstopper. I love the concrete ceilings. I love the fact that it's a condominium that has beautiful hardwood floors throughout. I love color, but I'm not quite as bold about using as much color as Stephen wanted to use. And in the end, it was the right decision. So I feel like I brought a lot of the white and the light, and he brought the vibrant color. And when it all came together, it was a really exciting, sparkly mix.